If you see Ali Abdal's video, then you must have saw this paper folding effect. Yes, the effect you are seeing right now. So today I am going to show you how can you create this effect very easily for free. So let's start. Our first step is to create a paper cutout effect around our photo. You can make this effect by using Photoshop or any other editing software but I am going to use Canva because it's free and accessible for all. First we will go to its website then from the top right corner we will click on create a design. Then from the bottom we will select custom size. Then type your video resolution here. My video resolution will be 1920 and 1080p. Then I will click on create new design. Then this menu will appear. Then from the left side I will click on elements menu. Then I will scroll down. Then I will click on see all located beside frames. Then in the search box I will write paper. Then I will drag this effect to our canvas. I will resize this. Then I will click on the upload menu. Then from upload files, I will upload my image. Then I will drag this image and place it above this. Our work is complete. Now I will click on the share option from the top right corner. Then I will click on download option. If you have a subscription in Canva, then you can directly download the PNG image. For that, keep the file type PNG and make sure the transparent background option is 1. Then just click on the download button. But if you don't have a Canva subscription, don't need to worry. From upload your photo option, upload your image. After some time, your background will be removed. Then just click on download option to download it. You can use any other background remover. Now our second step is to make the folding effect. So I will open CapCut and create a new project. Then from the import menu, I will import my image. Then I will drag this image and put it in our timeline. Then I will import a video footage. You will find its link in the description. Then I will drag this video and place it above the YouTube icon. Then I will select this image and go to remove BG menu which is located in the right side. Then I will click on this chroma key option. Then I will select color picker and select the orange color. Then I will increase the intensity and shadow. Then I will select the YouTube icon from the timeline and scale it up to make sure there is no black gap remaining. Otherwise the effect will not look good. I will drag this line where the top layer has ended and then click on Ctrl B in the keyboard. Make sure your bottom layer is selected. This will split our layer. Now we will need a background image. We will import this. Then I will drag this layer and place it in our timeline. Now put your mouse cursor in any empty space in the timeline and click on the mouse. Then you will find this modify option, click on this. Then turn on this arrange layer option. Now you can freely arrange the layers. Now I will select the second part of our icon layer and drag this and place it above the background layer. Now our video is ready. Now we have to save this video, for that we will click on export option which is located in the top right corner. Then we will export our image. Now you can use this video wherever you want. For example, I am deleting all the layers, then I will import a video here. Now I will import the video I have just saved. Then I will drag this video to the timeline. Now I will select this video and go to remove background option. Then I will click on chroma key. Then click on color picker. And this time I will select the yellow image. Then I will increase the intensity and shadow to remove the background. Now I will customize the position and size of our video. And our final effect is ready. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching this video.